Hello there my beautiful bookish souls. I'm here today with my second ever monthly haul video and already I've decided to change it up a little bit. Two of my favourite booktubers in the whole entire world, Clara at Clara Reads Books and Vanessa over at Paper Fairy, have been posting some monthly favourites videos the last few months and I absolutely love them and I didn't want to seem like too much of a copycat but then I was like, should probably make the kind of videos that you kind of want to watch yourself and I figured what the hell, I'm just gonna do that too. So I will be doing my book haul first and then my monthly faves second. So if you're not interested in watching those kinds of slightly more non-bookish videos, that is okay. You can just watch the first half of the video and see the haul. So the first book that I bought in April was this special faux leather edition of Jane Eyre. This is part of a series of Penguin Classics with illustrations all done by the same illustrator whose name I can't remember but I'll write it somewhere that's the front and the back has everyone's favorite Jane Eyre quote on it and it's all blue and bronze which is beautifully Ravenclaw and it's just beautiful. The second book that I bought which was also on the same day was this paperback vintage classic version of Emma which I bought because I was supposed to be reading Emma as a buddy read with Lauren over at Lauren Maids who has already finished while I am still only like a third of the way through and then technically this is actually part of my June haul but I'm just gonna add it into my May April whatever the hell month was before June haul because I did buy these books in the Kindle version first and have just bought the hardcover versions of them yesterday and I'm so excited about them I figured I might as well show them to you now and that is of course the Akita series so I've got all three of them and I got the hardback versions because the covers are just marginally nicer than the paperback versions although to be honest I find these covers to be incredibly incredibly tacky. I really don't like these book covers and that was part of the reason why it took me so long to even read these books. So yes. So now we are onto the fave section of my video and I have split them up into categories because I have actually been making monthly faves pages in my bullet journal for a few months now and have been doing them in categories so I've just kind of kept the same categories. So first up is movies and TV. The only movie that I actually went to see this month was Guardians of the Galaxy and I thought it was pretty excellent. It was hilarious. Baby Groot was the best. TV shows, what I've been watching lately is The Handmaid's Tale. I am loving it. Like, it is just hitting home. Every episode that I watch clenches my heart in its iron freaking fist and squeezes all sense of safety out of it. And then the other one is I have been re-watching Parks and Recreation because... How can you not? Sometimes you just gotta be in the mood for some Parks and Rec and that has been hilarious. Next up I guess would be music. Who doesn't love a little bit of a music section? And this is really hard for me because I have just discovered a new song like within the last two days that I am obsessed with. But I'm refusing to include it as part of my May favourites. I'm gonna hold off and I'm gonna talk about it in my June favourites because it is June and I discovered this song in June and just because I filmed this late doesn't mean I just get to include whatever the hell I want in it. Anyway, the songs that I liked in May and not June, one of them is actually a song that I discovered a while ago but have rediscovered and that is a cover of the jazz standard Little Girl Blue by Laura Mvula. Sit there and count your fingers What can you do? Oh girl, you're through. You might have noticed that it's actually become like the intro and outro to all of my videos now. And the other song is This Whole Year has been this song for me. The song that I deliberately played as soon as the clock struck midnight on New Year's Eve. I was like, this is, this is it. This is gonna be my song for the year. And that is Winning Streak by Glenn Hansard. Through summer's long and winter's cold May you always have someone good to hold And may good fortune wait on every bed and may your winning streak, may it never end. Oh, don't eat them. No! I 
don't need to tell you that that was the rabbit, I'm sure. I literally don't even have anything in my hand. <laughs> The final category is other for any other things. Um, this month I actually don't have any, so yes. So that is the end of my monthly haul and face video. I had fun talking about all of these things because these are the things that I'm, you know, really enthusiastic about at the moment. Let me know what you think of the Akita covers if you have read them, or even if you haven't, because, I mean, let's face it, you don't have to have read a book to judge it by its cover. I will see you in some other video very shortly, I am sure, and until then, as always, stay classic. Sit there and count your fingers.